At this time, one week from tomorrow, election results will be coming in. Our team here at LEX 18 will project the winners as soon as we can. But during the last election, some questions were raised on social media about why and how LEX 18 seemed to call the races before anyone else in the state. Well, we have a simple answer to that. LEX 18's political reporter Carolina Buchek explains. LEC teens speed and record when it comes to projecting election winners is definitely impressive, but there's no magic behind it. It's not a sophisticated computer program or whatnot. Here at LEC teen, we're able to do what we do on election night because of the human element behind it all. This is Mike Taylor. So you've got the governor's race. You may not see him on TV on election night, but he's the one behind each one of LEX 18's projections. As we told you, LEX 18 has called the U.S. Senate race. And he's been doing this for many, many elections in Kentucky. And I think I'm in the 75 range. I've lost count, 75 to 80, something like that. That's, that's elections I've coordinated. I, I covered them as a reporter for a number of years, too, so probably closer to 90. So Taylor knows Kentucky very well. And having that extensive election knowledge and experience is what helps him make his calls, which you then see our team report on television and online. And let's take a look at the results. So it just comes down to knowing the state, knowing how the voters have traditionally voted, knowing how that just changed over the years, and looking at the data coming in on that night and seeing which way is trending. And yes, Taylor helps LEC team issue projections as quickly as possible. That speed has even caused some to raise questions on social media. But Taylor says he never makes a projection without being 100% sure that it's the right one. We'll be cautious. We don't want to make a wrong call. We definitely don't want to make a wrong call. Uh, we've had some very, very, very close races. We've waited until a really long time to make a projection. And that could very well happen in this upcoming election. Taylor says primary elections are more difficult than general elections to begin with, and the Republican primary for governor is packed. There are 12 candidates, but only three have history in statewide elections. Daniel Cameron, Mike Harmon, and Ryan Quarles. But their history is in down ticket races, which don't get as many votes as a governor's race does. That makes it a little more difficult because you've got some history, but you also have a candidate in the race who's spending a lot of money on advertising and getting her name out there in Kelly Craft. And um, that can be a wild card. So it could take some time to issue a call on election night. But Taylor says he'll take as much time as he needs to be sure that he's accurate. I'd rather be right than fast. The station hasn't made a wrong call since we've been doing this. And remember, news groups issue projections on election night. The state makes results official, and that takes some time. In Lexington, Carolina Butrek, LEC News.